Hey everybody, Rookie and I'm Gabbing Thoroughbred Racing on Sunday afternoon, January the 22nd, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Got a couple of stake races to handicap this afternoon, folks. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first for race 8 on their card. 3.46 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Haynesfield Stakes. Eight and a half furlong route test on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Four-year-olds and up racing for a stakes prize of some $75,000. Contenders number one, Social Saul. Number five, Inherit the Gold. Number four, Uncle T7. And number two, Beauty in the Pulpit. Number one, Social Saul, takes a class drop of two units this afternoon, is the pace profile leader in the stakes field, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt, has produced power run performances in five straight starts, hitting the board in three of those adventures. Jockey Ramon Dominguez and trainer uh, Gary Contessa send to the post. They fit the board with 53% of the entries saddled as a team today. Number five, Inherit the Gold, the overall speed leader in this field, has won half of his 14 starts to date, racing at today's distance, including a power run win in his third race back. Race eight summary, number one, Social Saul, tops my contenders list this afternoon, which also includes number five, Inherit the Gold, number four, Uncle T7, and number two, Beauty in the Pulpit, one, five, four, two in the eighth from Aqueduct, the $75,000 Haynes Field Stakes. Go to Gulfstream Park next for their Race 10 feature, 4.45 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Sweetest Chance Stakes, a mile test on the turf. Three-year-old fillies race for $100,000. Contenders number five, Frolic's Revenge. Number eight, Anne of Dance. Number nine, Day at the Spa. And number one, Ready Signal. Number five, Frolic's Revenge, a five-to-one shot on top. Here in the Sunday feature is the pace profile leader in this field, racing at today's distance of a mile on the turf. Has hit the board in power run fashion in three of her last five, winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number eight, Anna the Dance, has also hit the board in three of her respective last five adventures, winning in her fifth race back. Race 10 summary, number 5, Frolic's Revenge, tops my contenders list this afternoon, which also includes number 8, and of the dance, number nine, day at the spa, and number one, ready signal, five, eight, nine, one, and the tenth from Gulfstream Park, the hundred thousand dollar sweetest champ stakes. Bonus long shots, let's go to Parks Racing, Ben Salem, PA, race four, number two, Sarges, four to one in the morning line, takes a big class drop of some 24 track master units, nice overall speed for the sprint at today's specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt. Sam Houston Race Park, race three. The speed honors in this climbing field are shared by a pair of six to one shots. Number five, Ciara for three, and number seven, Woke Up Praying. The latter shot also qualifying as a power pony. So handicapping on a Sunday afternoon from both the Big A Aqueduct and Gulfstream Park. Rick Needham for the Equipace Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.